Hi, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, welcome to our audience joining online. I see we have a whole bunch of people. I'm so excited to be seeing you. I know you can't see me. We've got some technical difficulties at the moment, but I am May Ann. I know a lot of you actually know me, uh, but a lot of you don't know me. I'm May Ann. I'll be your MC this morning. This morning, we are really honored to have our distinguished guest, Minister Desmond Lee, Professor Jakob bin Ibrahim, and Associate Professor Intan Azura Mokta here as well. Tech for Good is an annual innovation challenge organized by Engineering Good that celebrates the use of technology in helping people with disabilities and the elderly live a life of opportunities. This year, we are really proud to have the Singapore Institute of Technology as our co-producer. So thank you very much, SIT. Okay, really exciting. We have 40 teams of innovators from 13 years old to 25 years old in this age group. I don't know what you were doing at 13 years old and 25 years old, but I wasn't doing very much. Uh, we have 13 to 25 year old age group come together to develop great ideas and solutions. We have three live webinars. That's right. Not one, not two, but three live webinars running concurrently featuring teams across four themes. If you missed this team's first presentation, not to worry, the teams will be presenting twice because we got to take our money's worth, right? <laughs> so thank you very much to the teams for presenting twice. Do check out our festival guide in the chat box for the schedule. They're dropping it in right now, so click on it. You can drop, you can hop in and out of the webinar whenever you like to catch whatever team's presentation. So please do do that. The team's prototypes are also in display at their virtual booths. We know we can't actually have a virtual, uh, we can't actually have a real live booth session uh, with, a, with a conference this time, but we actually have our virtual booth and actual conference on Gather Town, which is a virtual avatar based platforms where you can walk around and interact with other visitors or the teams themselves. Uh, our makerspace and community partners will also be there. Our past alumni teams will also be there. And as well as our engineering good volunteers, they'll be walking around. I think they have yellow color shirts. So uh, you can go around and have a look at, uh, at Gather Town. We'll tell you a little bit, more a little bit uh, later. Our team has also shared the links and the festival guide in the chat again. So please do click them and uh, check them out. The links can also be found on our Tech for Good website. So bookmark that if uh, you're really, really interested. We have a lot of stuff on our Tech for Good website. We're working really hard. Besides the presentations and booths, we'll also be having our assistive tech dialogue, which is called Happy Tech. Five differently abled speakers will be sharing about their assistive technology they use in their daily lives to overcome their visual or hearing impairments, autism, speech impairments, and physical challenges. Plus, they'll also share their views, hopes, and dreams of assistive tech in Singapore, moderated by our close partner, SG Enable. So this is at 11 a.m. Do join us at 11 a.m. in this particular Zoom room for that really insightful talk. We won't hold you from the main event any longer. So without further ado, I would really like to introduce the man's man, women's man, the man about town, Johan Anwar, the executive director of Engineering Good. Uh, by the way, if you actually recognize that reference, you, that's official, you're kind of old. <laughs> I want to welcome Joe to switch up his mic and his video and uh, give your welcoming remarks. Joe, go ahead. Hey, hi, man, hi. Okay, I've got to do the traditional um zoom thing and check can you guys hear me can everyone hear me yes okay good yeah awesome yep, okay yep, we can. good morning ladies and gentlemen guys and girls and bots from all around the world uh, i'd like to welcome every one of you to this year's engineering goods tech for good it's been a really crazy journey and so many people have come together to make this possible so i feel that it's only uh only good to thank our co-organizer, especially uh, the Singapore Institute of Technology, our presenting sponsor, uh, SNP Global Foundation, uh, our sponsor, the James Dyson Foundation. And I'd like to tell you guys, this year sees our really uh, biggest turnout of 149 participants across 40 teams uh, who together with 40 mentors have been working on 28 problem statements uh, that have been given to us from 10 of our community partners. So I'm really excited to see the, the solutions that they have crafted and see what, what we can do to impact our community. Um, big shout out also to our partners from the eight maker spaces who helped to give workshops and talks despite all the COVID restrictions going on. 
And finally, and definitely uh, not least, I'd like to give a big shout out to my team, Kian, Denise, and uh, the 50 odd volunteers and staff and interns who've been with us for the last few months putting this together. Thank you guys so much. Lots of sleepless nights and, and nightless days um, that you guys have been put in and I really appreciate it. We've, we've kept on from our inaugural event in 2019 where we only had 30 teams. This year we had to expand to 40 because of the overwhelming response. And I'd like to thank all of your teams because um, you guys are doing good work in, to be honest, what we live in, and we live in an inherently unfair world. Most of us every day go about our lives not thinking about this unfairness, but through making our only our lives better, most almost always this problem only ever slightly gets worse. So I'm very heartened and honored to be surrounded by all of you who put in all your heart, soul, sweat, and tears into thinking of others, partnering with our end users, our innovators and policy makers to enable and empower inclusion and bring the community together to innovate solutions for the community itself. And then at the end of the day, we can make this world a little better than how we found it. Thank you all very much from the heart of my bottom. Uh, I will now hand you over uh, to the Minister in Charge of Social Services Integration and Minister for National Development, uh, Mr. Desmond Lee. Uh, and uh, because I really legit need to go and pee. Um, so, I'll uh, hand you over to Mr. Lee now. Mr. Take it away. Thanks, Johan. You know where the toilet is. <laughs> <laughs> Very good morning to Mr. Johan Anwar, Executive Director of Engineering Good. Uh, good morning to Prof. Yaakob Ibrahim, uh, Prof. Intan Azura Mokta, participants, friends, ladies and gentlemen. Very good morning once again, and thank you for inviting me to Tech for Good Festival 2021. In fact, this is the second time I'm attending this festival, and the first time was in 2019. Uh, back then, I recall that the event was held at the National Library Atrium with physical booths and displays. And, and I think it, it, it's just 2019, but it feels so long ago. Uh, this year, because of the pandemic, the festival can't be held physically. Uh, but instead, it's being hosted on Zoom and the public can virtually click into the various booths on the gather.town platform. And really, this is a testament to the power of technology. It can help us to overcome challenges and constraints, and it can help to connect people even in the midst of this pandemic. In fact, digital solutions have been at the forefront of our efforts to grapple with the impact of COVID-19. Whether it's the Trace Together app, video conferencing tools for working or learning from home, online platforms for e-commerce and food delivery, these are just some of the many examples of what technology can do. Now, similarly, technology can help to empower uh, differently abled persons as well as persons with disabilities, supporting them to overcome their challenges, enabling them to connect and contribute to society to the best of their potential. And that is what Tech for Good is really all about, bringing all of us together to exchange ideas, find new ways to empower more people through technology. So I would like to thank Engineering Good and SIT, as well as all the people who have made this event possible, our participants, our mentors, the many volunteers and community partners. Thank you for putting together this meaningful initiative, coming together and collaborating. Uh, I'm told by Johan that some 40 team booths have been set up this year, showcasing 40 different tech solutions that can empower persons with disabilities. Uh, these are organized around four key themes, uh, independence, empowerment, learning, enablement, social empowerment, and physical enablement. I look forward to, the, to, to seeing the team presentations later on, but I, would, I thought I would take this opportunity to uh, share some ideas on how we can best use technology to empower persons with disabilities and the special role that young people play in this very important effort. Now, first is that technology can act as a very powerful leveler to empower persons with disabilities to overcome the specific challenges that they face. By using assistive technology, we can build a society that's more inclusive and one in which differently able people are able to equally access important services and other aspects of daily life. 
And in so doing, we can help to improve the quality of life for persons with disabilities and also support their caregivers in caring for them. Now, for example, persons with visual or hearing impairment, as well as wheelchair users, uh, can now use applications like the Mobility Assistance for the Visually Impaired and Special Users mobile app, or Mavis app, to get access to much more information on public bus services, enabling them to travel independently. The app would alert bus captains that commuters with special needs would be boarding or alighting the bus and allows visually impaired passengers to activate the audio announcements at the boarding bus stops. As another example, some persons with disabilities are unable to use a mainstream mouse and keyboard due to conditions like muscular dystrophy. They can now make use of IA systems to navigate computer functions. And in fact, this is all the more important today as more services, social activities, and even our school and work activities go online. Now in the government, we recognize the very important role that technology plays. And so we are working to raise awareness and raise adoption of assistive technology by persons with disabilities, as well as their caregivers. As part of the recommendations that have been released by the Enabling Master Plan Workgroup for promoting independent living of persons with disabilities through technology and design in April this year. But in order for technology to be the most helpful and empowering, it really has to be designed and tailored to the user's needs. So it helps if our designers consult closely with their end users, understand their specific needs and challenges, and then refine the ideas and products accordingly in order to have the best possible effect. And where it's possible, prototypes can be put through various tests and trials to make sure that they work as intended and to iron out any kinks. I mean, there's design, there's thinking, there's deep thinking, there's a lot of interaction, understanding of specific needs, life stages, daily routines, and then you design your, your, your techn technological solution or engineering solution. But actually when you apply it and walk through the journey of the application of this technology or engineering device uh, with your end user, uh, both you and the end user may be surprised that there may be some issues along the way that you have to iron out. And I think that, that really makes good sense. Uh, many of the teams at this year's Tech for Good Festival have done precisely that. Now, let me just share two interesting examples. And I really don't want to be a spoiler because I know you want to explore the, uh, the booths on your own. But let me just share two examples I can't resist. The first is Charlotte. And Charlotte is a web browser plugin by the team named For a Git Course. Users of Charlotte can choose the type of accessibility features that they want on a web page, including video captioning and text to speech. This will help persons with disabilities to navigate websites with ease and improve their user experience. Based on their consultations with the community partner SG Enable, the team decided to develop this idea as a web browser plugin instead of a standalone app, so that it can be used on popular browsers such as Google Chrome and Firefox without requiring the installation of other specialized software. Now, the second example I'd like to raise is a location tracking device by a team called Mango Roja. The team met the DSA or Down Syndrome Association, and they learned that persons with Down Syndrome sometimes lose their way when traveling outside. And often their caregivers would have difficulty locating them and imagine the amount of stress and worry and, and just you know, wondering what has happened to their loved one. So the team decided to develop a missing person app and a location tracking device for caregivers. And the device was in part inspired by the Trace Together app. I'd like to thank and congratulate both teams uh, for applying your minds to the needs uh, of our differently abled friends. Finally, what I found most impressive about the ideas and prototypes at this festival is that they all originated from young people with good hearts, and some as young as 13 years old. So to all the teams, my warmest congratulations to all of you on your hard work. Uh, 
as young people, your boundless energy and imagination are great assets that I hope you'll continue to make the most of. You bring with you fresh perspectives that shed light on some of the blind spots that we may have, on some of the inequalities, which as Johan said earlier, we may, we may miss. And as a generation that is growing up surrounded by technology, all of us, like all of you, are well-placed to maximize the potential of technology in better serving our community. As the future leaders of Singapore, you will play a crucial role in shaping our society and its trajectory for years to come. And you'll determine its texture, its tone, its inclusiveness, its openness, its depth of the heart, and the amount of care that we pour out. The knowledge and skills that you've gained through this festival will serve you well in this endeavor. And I'm sure that in participating in this festival and beyond, you will apply all the learning that you picked up in school, in the community, in your work with NGOs. But above all, what I hope you will continue to hold on to is your deep sense of empathy and understanding and your desire to make things better for those around you, especially those who might need a bit more support. Whatever you do in the future, whether you're designing or building web pages and mobile apps, physical spaces, products and services, or doing just about anything else. Do continue to be guided by the, that sense of empathy and compassion and care, and consider the needs of our differently abled people in your design. So together, I think we can build that much more inclusive and stronger a Singapore. Let me just conclude by thanking again our thoughtful organizing team, our partners and participants for making today's event possible. The Tech for Good Festival embodies the spirit of the Singapore Together movement, in fact, bringing people from different walks of life together, not only to exchange ideas, but also to take action and try out ideas in practice, roll up your sleeve and making things happen to make Singapore that much better a place for all of us. And this work is a continuous journey that all of us will walk together even beyond the festival. I wish all of you uh, an, a meaningful and impactful festival. Thank you. Back to you. Hey. Thank you very much, Minister Desmond Lee. I think that that was such a super inspiring message to remind us indeed that inclusion has to be by design and we have to be thinking with empathy, with a lot of compassion, with a lot of understanding. So I hope that all the teams you've learned and listened really well beyond the Instagram posts, beyond the videos, we're definitely going to have to meet a lot more of what you bring to the Tech for Good Festival uh, in Singapore. So SC together, I feel like we should be singing like National Day songs time around, <laughs> right? Okay, uh, coming back to the festival. Earlier we mentioned, remember I mentioned that we would have the festival on something called uh, Gather Town, but what exactly is Gather Town? I'm gonna be going through a couple of real quick slides here to introduce you to our little festival space. Gather Town is a web conferencing software, a little bit like Zoom, but with the added component of being able to see the virtual room that you and others are occupying and with the ability to move around and interact with other participants based on your locations in your room, like real life. It's really cool, okay? Put your left hand on your WASD keys because that's what they're gonna be doing, moving, the, moving around really, really soon. You'll be able to create your own avatar. Can we go back one slide so that people can see the little cute little avatar? You can create your own avatar. So if you've never done this before, please log in to Gather Town, create your own avatar, customize your own appearance. You can choose your own clothes and move around the space using your keyboards. Remember, please wear pants, okay? When you first log in, you can use your avatar. You can move around using the WASD or you can use your arrow keys depending on whether you want to use your left hand or your right hand. The gamers will know WASD pretty, really well. You can interact with objects by pressing X. You can walk up and chat with different people or you can message them using the chat function. It's quite cool because when you walk up to somebody, if you're about two or three squares away from them, you can hear them really softly, but when you go closer, it actually gets louder. So it has a little bit of a visual, uh, uh, audio and visual proximity uh, uh, function there. You can create a bubble to have a one-on-one -on -one private conversation. And what you need to do here is you can, uh, okay, so here's how you do a, you can start a conversation with the bubble. 
But what you want to be doing is you can start at the main space. We'll go to the next slide and we can show you the main space. This is the main space. You can see our engineering good and our salvage garden booth. So we've got two booths there. And then we have two team spaces, one space for independent empowerment theme and the other space for learning enablement, social empowerment and physical enablement themes. Each time you enter a space, you will encounter a welcome screen which shows you a preview of your avatar and the audio and visual uh, selections. You can mute and unmute. You can turn on turn on video on the lower right hand of the screen. You'll also encounter a portal message whenever you are, you're, you're about to enter another team space. You click enter to go into the portal. You're given the option to change your avatar again. You, we also have partner spaces for our community partners and maker spaces. So hello, community partners and maker spaces. Uh, we really want to raise awareness to all of you about their organizations, their causes, their beneficiaries, because we're not in this to, uh, alone. We're all in this together. Uh, so we really, really would like you to visit our community partner and maker space locations. Okay, <laughs> excuse me. If you're feeling lost, we have a little mini map uh, you can see there. We have a mini map located in the middle of the screen, info booths at the main entrances of spaces. There are also information panels and direction signs around the space. Alternatively, we have volunteers. Look out for our engineering good volunteers. They're dressed in yellow and you can have a, you can just click on them and just ask them for assistance. So this is literally like a conference, okay? You have to go around, you can look for people, you can interact with people, you can chat with people, you can ask for help. So please do use the conference uh, facilities as as much as you want to. If you need directional guidance, you can follow them by searching for their names and click follow, like quite literally you can follow them. <laughs> to start following them, you can press any arrow key on your keyboard. Okay, so that is Gather Town. 